Hi, everybody. Today, What's up? I'm over here today with my friend Steve. Came to visit me from uh, from nearby, from Tampa. How's everybody doing? And uh, we're gonna have some of our famous espresso action here. You just show the, the camera what we're doing here. Steve, fresh, fresh espresso. Steve Cuban loves style. his uh, his Italian slash Cuban uh, Cuban espresso. espresso. My buddy's from Brooklyn. Been in Florida a long time, but we still have the same uh, traditions and everything. Salute. Salute. Yeah. I figured Delicious. we'd uh, thank you. Yep. I figured we'd make a little video today, and we're going to talk about the tarpon sponger again. It is the uh, Perfecto with the three different wrappers. Some people have compared it to some famous brand name cigars that uh, we're not going to mention. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a beautiful shape. What do you think? About beautiful it? presentation. I love the three three um, wrapper blend. The detail. I'm gonna cut mine. Yeah, awesome. Do a little V cut. I'm gonna do a V cut as well on this one. You want to borrow that? You got your got mine right, right here. Cook it real good. Perfect. I hadn't seen my buddy in a while, and I gotta say, Steve is actually a dear friend of mine and uh, an old customer going back. I don't know, 12, 12 13, Well, years. whenever you started, Just I remember about, yeah, when 12, you uh, 13 years. Originally, um, through another friend of ours, Eddie introduced me to Arnold. Probably about twelve years. Whenever he, you were kind of first getting going here, you got it. Yeah, that's right. We were, we were actually two doors down at the time, where the bar is. Today. Same same location, just two doors down. Yeah. A little smaller over there, I think it was. This is a better spot, I think. Corner premium yeah. location. We got the corner, better more visibility. visibility. Uh, just a better spot. Yep. Mm. Steve is actually a dear friend of ours. Like I said, he, uh, my dad loved you, loved talking to you, and uh, just some great stories. Ramon was a wonderful man, wonderful human being. Um, just. You always felt like you were coming here and, and seeing like a my, one of my uncles or a, you know family. That's that's, that's he how he was. He was family so. to me. You and Eddie Fred. Um, you know, Biagio, you know, the rest of the gang. Everybody, yeah. We all we oh, always man. sat out front, played dominoes, smoked cigars on the sidewalk, on the patio. We got some, some stories. Yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of good times. Oh, my God. And the, the good times will continue. They're not going to end. Continue. It's just, Hopefully, you know, this whole thing will yeah. pass and life will go back to normal at some point. In the meanwhile, we'll still smoke cigars and. Uh, Enjoy ourselves. And no, just, good, good off the, the beginning light. Light, light. Like it a lot so far. Now, today's yeah. a, actually a really great day for me because... Yeah, we just... Uh, let me check show this the camera. Out. We were featured in the local paper. It's called The Beacon. And it is about the mural. That I know a lot of you guys have seen the mural in, uh, in our other videos. Mark's been working on it. And uh, you were you just happened to be in the area, and I told you about it. and You're like, I'm coming down. I was wondering what all the chaos was in the streets. People going crazy <laughs> with these newspapers, like running around getting them. And it's like, you know, that's funny. Can't think, you know, it's a great story. It's just funny. Mark did a beautiful job on that mural with your influence. He and, sure did. I yeah, love it. I yeah, love it. it looks great. I'm really happy that's with a, it, and now yeah. we're getting a little bit of exposure yeah. from it. So it's you know, what else can I ask for? Now it says it's not quite complete, or is it complete now? It's pretty much complete. Pretty much. Maybe I'll add you know a few little details here and there, but yeah. for the most part, it's pretty much complete. Yeah. Beautiful. Looks great. Uh, thank you. I'm really happy with it. I love the way it turned out. And the it neighbors was, love it. I'm sure. Yeah, everybody yeah. loves it. I mean, it's just yeah. my own little concoction. It's an idea between you know Tarpon Springs and Cuba, them together. Um, you know, Mark kind of brought it to life, you know, which is which is just great. Yeah. And I, I you know, I think it's a fitting tribute, and I dedicated it to my dad because, you know, he loved history so much. And yep. the history behind Cuba and Tarpon Springs and the connection, it was just There's a lot of history in this area. It really From is. Tampa to Tarpon, all, all in yeah. between, this is basically it's Cigar just, Town, you know. Cigar, cigar City is Tampa. And but, sponges. You know, yeah. <laughs> You, know, it's funny you should come up with a cigar called the sponge. You know they have well, one. That... We got the tarpon sponger. <laughs> well, no, like shaped like a sponge. Oh, I know that would be that would be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. We're uh, we're always joking, me and Steve. We got such great stories and just random stuff we talk about when he comes to visit and throughout the years. And he's my Italian buddy, so of course we always have the funny jokes, you know, with the mob and everything else. <laughs> but um, yeah, family from uh, from New York, Brooklyn. My parents were both born in Brooklyn. Grandparents came from Italy to Amazing. Brooklyn. Which part of Italy were they from? Do you remember? Uh, uh, Naples. Yeah. Napolitan. Yeah, Napolitan. Uh, my grandmother. Uh, you know, I went a few years ago. Oh, you did? Yeah. 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 And we went to Naples, which was awesome. Yeah. The Amalfi Coast. Beautiful. The little yeah. towns of Positano and yeah. uh, Sorrento, the town of Amalfi. Yeah. As a matter of fact, not because I knew you were coming today, but my wife and I were talking about it, and you know, we, there was this girl that was there, a friend of ours, and she was telling me, oh, I'd love to go to Italy soon, and I, I whipped out the phone, and I said, oh, look, look at these pictures. She was like, wow, this is breathtaking, you know. Beautiful country. It really is. Yeah. 
great and I always remember the Limoncello di Positano. Oh, nice. The one yeah. that was made there in town, you know. And yeah, the people are yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And it always, it, you know, he, nearby, um, Richard Gonsmart, our friend, we always talk about him. Right. He opened up the uh, Casa Santo Stefano. Just opened up, yeah. I just, just saw the article. Up. I haven't been there yet. Did but... I send you the article? Yes, before? yeah. And I was reading it, and, it, and it's in Sicilian. And the conversation my wife and I had this morning was, I said, honey, isn't it incredible how close, if you can read Spanish and you read Sicilian, it's it's almost the same. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. a few words. And she's like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's really like the same language. It's like their brother languages, you know? And I just think that's so cool. Looking forward to going to that restaurant. Oh, my God. Yeah. The restaurant, I can't wait to try that. Ybor City. When I was in place. Sicily, I got to share this with you guys. Yeah. I was in Palermo, and we're going into the catacombs. And uh, this one lady from Alabama was walking into the catacombs. And a bird was taking a poop. Okay? And it almost got her. She's like, oh, my God. And then my tour guide, it's a true story. Yeah. Um, gosh, what, what was his name? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, I said, um, in Sicilia, uh, cagata de ave, buona fortuna. He said, oh, lo massimo. And I said, well, because it's, it's that close. Yeah, you know, yeah. and in Spanish, it would have been almost the same. <laughs> and he thought it was the funniest thing, which if you get pooped by a bird, it's good luck. It's good luck. Yeah. yeah. So some things, you know, going to the old country and Sicily and Spain oh, and Cuba, it's just, some traditions are, yeah. are the same. And we have a lot of connections, you know. The, yeah, I mean, it's very, a lot of similarities. Like, obviously, oh you know, enjoying espresso and cigars. I mean, my, my grandfather, oh, my, God, I I, my two, two grandfathers um, both passed, of, of, you know, unfortunately, years ago. But... My dad's father was a cigar smoker. He owned a bar in Brooklyn, New York. You've told me that before. Yeah. What was his name? Club 52. Uh, yeah. Anthony Ro Anthony Roselia, but he was known as Bull. That was his nickname, Bull. I, that would have paid to go in that place. He was called the Meatball King of Brooklyn, believe oh it or not, back then. They must uh, have been Club incredible. 52 was the bar. People used to come in. Workers used to come in after Did he make work his own and wine? just get the... No, he didn't do his he own didn't wine, but his own wine. he made his own meatballs and... Uh, wow. And... Uh, People used to come in just for the meatballs too. It was like Archie yeah. Bunker's place. Yeah, a little like a local, local, yeah, local pub, but yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. So he smoked cigars. That. He used to smoke. If I remember, I think they were Tayamos. The Tayamos, yeah. yeah. Great and cigar. I remember, and I remember in New York and Brooklyn, very popular. The Optimo, Optimos. Optimus. Yes, there are were they the still, signs. Everywhere. Are they still there? Yeah, the Optimos Optimo, are still Optimo. around. Um, the only thing is, they're more of a machine made. I think these. Oh, days. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember those stores. This but is burning yeah. really nice. Yeah. Just no, the guys can see. white ash, pure white. How you enjoying it? Excellent. I like the draw, good flavor. Getting a nice like. These, I've been getting really good compliments. Getting on some these. cedar out of this. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Not because I make them, but I just I want my friends to try it, and I'm getting their feedback as well. You know. Look at the smoke output. Beautiful, easy draw. Easy draw. That's what nice, I like. Nice, nice ash. Uh, More like a medium body, right? Uh, medium, mild, medium. Yeah, mild maybe medium. mild on the medium side. So far, it's early in, but you know it could change. You know what's funny is. Um, Steve and I, like I said, we're always going back and forth with the stories and everything else. And um, here in the Tampa Bay area, you're talking about, you know, the Italians. Well, of course, the Italians, you know, they did run Havana with the mob back right. in the day. With right. Batista, which, by the way, I would take that <laughs> any day over the crap that's in Cuba now, by the way. Let me just <laughs> clarify that. But anyway, um, I've been doing a little bit of research throughout the years. Mm. And this area here where we're at, um, Cigar City Mafia, is a book that Scott Dietz wrote. Yeah, I don't know if you've read it, but it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it came out a few years, several years Co ago. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. probably yeah. about ten. I got yeah. it back there somewhere, yeah. and it chronicles the history of the mob here in um, in Tampa Bay area. Right. Which, of course, was Traficante, and you know he ran Havana, then he came to Tampa. He had his businesses right. here, whatever. And it's incredible how many local places here in this area right. were controlled by the Traficante family, and you know they had a lot of control and right. uh, influences just over. Just north of here in the holidays. Yes, yeah. that's right. The There's King's Court, right? The King's Court, right. which you guys right. might remember that from the movie Donnie Brasco. Yes, yeah, yeah, I remember. That's a cool place. It was no longer there. Yeah. The, the building yeah. is no longer there. It was, if I remember, it was shaped like a, was yeah. it like a... It had a racket club yeah, too. Yeah, right? it was a yeah. weird looking building, but yeah. You probably right remember on, that. Right on US 19, we used to pass it. Yeah, like a King's Court. The sign King's used to Court. be there, yeah. That's cool. God, that sign would be cool. by. be cool to have that sign. I would love that. What's there now? Um, I don't know, just a building or something. Yeah. Right? Commercial real estate, I think. Yeah, so much has changed on so US 19 over the years. And if you go a little bit north of that, the Tahitian Inn, which is an Tahitian old hotel. Tahitian Inn, yeah. They built yeah. that with the money that Traficante took out of Cuba. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah, which which was actually in the book. Mm -hmm. When he went into jail, Castro, he, he was playing both sides. He was supporting the rebels, and he was a Batista guy. Of course, he had the Hotel Riviera, and uh, he thought that by helping Fidel with the revolution, um, they weren't going to touch his casinos. Well, he was wrong. 
<laughs> when Castro took over, the first thing he did, one of the first things was, go get me that guy, that Santo Traficante guy. And he put him in jail. True story. And somehow, Traficante, with his money and his influence, was able to bribe a guard and get him out. Okay? And then he got on the first plane to Hillsborough County. And, wow. uh, you know, the rest is history. But anyway, he built a Tahitian Inn with the money from Cuba, which back then was like 250000 bucks, Amazing. which was a lot of cash back then. And, um, and all this leads back to cigars because they all smoke cigars, They all right? smoke cigars. <laughs> yeah, they all smoke cigars. I mean, they yeah. love cigars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, who the hell doesn't love cigars? Oh. I mean, it's a, it's Frank, a good Frank Sinatra, did he smoke cigars? I'll tell you a story about him. Yeah. The, uh, the mob convention in Havana. Yeah. They called that the summit or something when they did that. The, yeah. big, the big rally or convention or whatever. Meyer Lansky, all the big guys. Anyway, the U.S. government had released uh, Lucky Luciano, okay, because of Meyer Lansky. And they sent him back to Sicily because technically he was born in Italy, right? So U.S. government's like, okay, we got rid of him. He's back in Italy, whatever. Well, a few weeks later, <laughs> Frank Sinatra goes to Havana, to the Hotel Nacional, which is yeah. the beautiful hotel in Havana, rents out the penthouse. And boy, I'll tell you, they had one hell of a party. Oh. I mean, I can't, I, I can't tell you the year, but it was either early 50s, I think it was, or late 40s, early 50s. They had a hell of a freaking party. And in the party, some shit happened. Yeah. And that actually made the, the paper in Havana, which was um, Diario de la Marina, was the name of the newspaper in Havana at the time. And when that hit the paper, then the Associated Press picked it up and all the news stories. And then the Americans said, well, what the hell's Lucky Luciano doing in Havana? Huh. That's when they found out. He had rented a huge estate in the Miramar neighborhood of Havana, which was a wealthy area. And he was down there, you know, taking care of stuff. And then, you know, the U.S. government called the Batista government at yeah. the time. Said, listen, you got to get this guy the hell out of Cuba. That's how much control they had over Cuba at the time. Um, and they, unfortunately, I guess, fortunately or unfortunately, extradited him back to Italy. He was kind uh. of upset about this because he really enjoyed Cuba. Wow. So, needless to say, the Cubans and the Italians, we, we've always had some really good connections in, uh, in well, history the, together. But the Italians yeah. can't make cigars as good as Cubans, though. That, that, well, that's yeah. one thing they never perfected. They like those well, parodies. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. love those parodies. Yeah, that, you know, that, those are still being made today. They are, yeah. yeah. They got the, it's that uh, fire cure tobacco, right? Yeah, they, uh, yeah it's like a, I think what they do is they start, a they start a fire in the barn. Right. And then the tobacco gets cured that cured. way. It's got this really distinctive taste. Yeah, almost like a, like a smoked meat, smoked beef, like a meat. I know. Yeah, like a smoked beef, like a beef jerky almost. Almost, like yeah. In, into a cigar, it's amazing. Look, Look at this ash. Yours too, huh? Beautiful white ash. I love these cigars. I'm getting a nice creamy nutty flavor now. I don't know, and it just has some yeah. espresso. So it's it's got a, it's got a meat like a it's, it's pushing a little medium now. It started you know it's a mild medium I'd say. But well, I just dropped my ash. Oh, well. The flavor isn't good, excellent. It's right on the money, huh? Yeah, the strength okay. is doing is a little mild. video here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. But anyway, we uh, we always have some great great conversation and we talk about history and of course I got Smoke a lot of cigars, great, great friends up in the northeast. Yeah. Maybe we'll play dominoes next time I'm here, too. Remember in Scarface when he says, so that thing I did for you in Freedom Town, what was that, a game of dominoes? Remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is there anything else you want to add? No, just I'm, I'm happy I'm here, and, uh, you know, it's we're in, you know, no, late no, mid no, late November now in Florida. The weather for the next five, six months is going to be perfect. Great. It's, gonna, it's um, only going to get better. Smoking cigars is the time of year. If you're not in Florida, come down, you know, and uh, relax. Come over here to... Tarpon Springs. Thank you. You know, if you haven't met Arnold yet, definitely meet Arnold. He'll tell you a lot of these stories, same kind of stories. But I just love to talk to you. You get a lot of history, and, and, you. and uh, I enjoy it. And uh, you know, it's just, and I enjoy it's a good company. time and, and great cigars. That's you know, thank you very definitely. Much. And uh, he takes pride in what he does here. And we'll this this Tarpon Sponger is amazing. And look at that. I'm gonna see if I can get that ash right to the to the to the band. <laughs> anyway, everybody, thanks for tuning in. All right, in. thank you. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.